look, I got to say straight off the bat, I saw you coming in here. Of course, we're at Rebel. We're at uh, iHeartRadio Fan Fest. This is Canadian Music Week. There's a lot going on. This is probably the biggest event for CMW. I saw you walked in. I thought you were somebody else, man. From the days I've known you from a couple of years ago, you are looking so good, man. Velvet on velvet on velvet. And purple rain is falling all over you, my friend. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's been it's been a long time. You know, six years ago, I released my first single, and I've uh, been through a lot since then. You know, life experience, adventures, and you know, I've, I've definitely uh, grown as an artist and as a person. I feel like so. Here we are. But you look like now. Like, like don't get me wrong. Like you know, you were all uptight or anything. Like you look like you're having fun now. Yeah, I mean, I. I I was always having fun. I just think I'm more relaxed yeah. now. Yeah, that's yeah. what it is. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And congratulations, man. You got a new single, right? Yes, a uh, new single just dropped in January called Cautious. Um, and then I released a digital song uh, called Anybody Out There. What's Cautious about? Um, cautious, uh, it's kind of a, an extension of the character we wrote about in Wicked, which is off of my previous album. Um, but diving into it a little bit more, it was... We realized it was more than just like a, a person. It's more of a talking about an addiction or something you can't shake. Yeah. How do you think then, from the time that we've known each other, how do you think you've grown as an artist? And um, and where do you see yourself even going even further? Uh, the biggest difference between the previous album and this album is knowing what I want. So last album I was really exploring you know, different sounds and different songs and melodies and all that stuff. This album, I've definitely dove into what I really want creatively, whether that's a melody, whether, whether that's, um, you know, a certain topic um, or certain sounds. So that's, that's the major difference between the two. One of the things, again, I was happy about, too, was when you released the single and um, a few months ago, uh, I, like, you were on social media. You were everywhere, man. Did you ever think that from that first time when, you know, hooking up with the MMVAs and, you know, winning the contest and everything, what's the biggest surprise for you in being in this business? Because when you think about it back then, you could have thought so many different things. Yeah. What did you discover about yourself in this business that maybe you never realized you would become? Uh, I stress easy. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone who's in the music industry knows that stress can come at, in an instant. Mm -hmm. Um, but it also can just be easy going. Um, you know, I'm a perfectionist, so that doesn't help my case. You've always been, a, <laughs> from the day I've known you, it's always been about that. Yeah, you know, I feel like if you're not happy with your work, then, then you gotta, you gotta make it perfect until you're, until you are happy. So, uh, I've been working on just taking it easy and not stressing, you know, it's okay, everything is good, but there are certain things you have to think about because it is a business, so. Okay, you kind of mentioned before there's an album out, we don't have really a name yet, but what do you think this album is going to be, uh, exploring? Uh, like, content-wise? Yeah. So, I've, I've taken two years to write this entire album, and within those two years, there have been, uh, a lot of things going on, you know, I, um, a few family members have been in the the deep dark space that no one likes to go into um you know anxiety um I, i'm madly in love i actually just got engaged back in october congratulations man thank you very much so it, it's this album is is everything that i've wanted over the past two years everything that i've experienced over the past two years i gotta ask you because i know we don't have a lot of time though how did you propose oh i took her to italy um, and it's the, the pictures on, on social media and uh, it's a coastal town called uh, oh my gosh what's it called Rio Maggiore and uh, it's like a cliff town cliffside town and I just popped the question there yeah <laughs> what I'm more happy about is you're not on gonna be on those uh, those uh, YouTubes where she runs away and says no. you know what I realized after though no like not nothing about the running away part but I did propose on a rock over the ocean so if I dropped that ring, which I did not do, you know, it would have been bad. But, you know, everything happens for a reason. I didn't drop it. It was on her hand, her on her finger perfectly. So meant to be. Is there going to be a tour happening soon? Yes. So I'm releasing the album in the fall later this year. And then I will be hitting the road to support that album. And what can we expect tonight, man? What kind of songs and what kind of performance? Uh, two new ones and the old classic Wicked. 
Yeah. yeah. Look, man, congratulations on the music, the album, the upcoming uh, marriage, uh, the fact that you're going to send me an invite to the wedding. It's going to be great, man. Congratulations on all the fun. I appreciate it. Thank you.